Welcome to Profit Passion Fruit Farming and today we're gonna be covering on what causes flower abortion in passion fruit. So if you're new here please subscribe and also share with your friends they might have the same problem and they might learn something from this video. So we have number one lack of pollinators. So lack of pollinators this is a, a problem where the flowers open and rack the insect or birds that help in pollination and so uh, the best way to solve this problem is to ensure that you put beehives in your farm so place more beehives in your farm so that they may help in pollination then we have number two we have a uh, disease attack in passion fruit uh, maybe a vine is attacked by a specific disease so that specific disease may cause a weakness in the vine such that it may be uh, may not be able to hold the flowers so it might be aborting the flower because of the cause of a uh, disease so the best way to control this is if you identify the disease because there are different diseases that uh, can cause that so you have to identify which disease attacking the vines then try to control or spray a chemical that can control that disease then you have number three we have lack of water mostly i hear people saying okay a lack of water doesn't mainly cause that but excessive lack of water if the vine is dried lack of water that causes uh, the flowers to fall down because the fr the vine doesn't have enough water to sustain fruits and also the flowers that are still sprouting so the be the best way that vine to sustain its fr fr fruits is to make sure that there are no other fruits that are being formed so mostly lack of water can also cause uh, fruit abortion because if the vine lacks a lot of water that means the vine will start falling or the fruit will start even falling it, so that, that that way the only best way to control that is make sure you add sprinklers and jet sprinklers in the farm so ensure that you uh, water the vines then we have uh number four we have lack of nutrients so uh lack of nutrients we already know that boron copper zinc and uh and uh, phosphorus they have a big role in maintaining uh the flowers and also the fruits so if in our farms we in our farm we rack that nutrients or the vine rack that nutrients it means that the vine or the flowers will be aborted so the best way is to make sure that there is an equal balance in the nutrients and especially those which help in maintaining the flowers and uh, we have number five we have lack of food or proper feeding so uh, another cause they might seems like uh, a cross relative with number four but it's a little bit different because it might be having a well balanced nutrients but it it doesn't have enough manure or food to sustain the fruit formation so a lot of fruit so you know the production if the vine has high production it might not sustain more than the food it is uh taking in so if the vine is uh, is situated in a, a place where there is rest there is rest and uh, a food that it takes that means it will only take uh, or it will only allow the fruit uh, the flowers that it can only hold so the best way to do that is to ensure that you you add manure frequently if possible three months or three months to six months you should be adding manure and mostly manure that does not uh it takes time to decompose because it need to take small amount of uh nutrients 
Uh, then we, we also have number six is weather condition. Okay, if we have extreme weather condition, it can cause flower abortion in passion fruit. A good example is when we have a lot of cold. So if we have excessive cold in passion fruit, that means uh, the flowers will not uh, turn to fruit. And also another thing is heavy rainfall. If we have heavy rainfall, uh, sometimes it uh, the way it affects it's that when the flower sprout and uh, when the bees come to uh, take out the nectar, so the pollen is already washed by the rain. So the rain washes all the pollen. That means even if the birds or uh, bees come and uh, try to collect the nectar, it cannot pollinate because there is no pollen. And uh, lastly, okay, uh, sorry, the b best way to control that is to make sure that at least there is a, a well, well, a well or the vine is pruned that will reduce the amount of cold that is a uh, hold within the vine. So that is the best way to control that. Although sometimes we can't control like uh, it's beyond our control. But there are other factors that weather that help, like weed. A weed, if there is a weed in the farm, it helps. Because if it, is pre, uh, if it, it goes in a direction that towards the uh, flowers, that weed help in poly, uh, pollination also. So then we have the last one. We have uh, attack by birds. And mostly a uh, mouse bird. And uh, in my location, we have a uh, sprinkle mouse bird. Uh, sp uh, sprinkle mouse bird is mostly affecting in uh, central province of Kenya. So that's the most uh, bird that it, it takes. Uh, if you go to a farm, you realize that it have eaten the female part of the flower. So there is no pollination can take place. That causes the flower abortion sometimes it eat even before the uh, flower sp uh, sprout so it you might find that the flower has a hole or it just by a uh, bite uh, a small part of the flower that will cause the end uh the flower to abort even before it is sprout so the best way to control this is by use of a uh, scarecrow and uh mostly the scarecrow that looks like a uh, human so you have to make sure that the scarecrow you are using they look like a human because sometimes you might put in a uh, scarecrow and you might be surprised finding they are riding on those scarecrow also you can also use an ego like because they fear ego because uh sometimes uh the ego feeds on the birds so they fear so you can use a scarecrow that fries like a uh an ego and uh, mostly also we also use a combination with uh south producers so like iron sheet if a weeds come they will just smash the iron sheet together and that producing a noise that can cause the, uh them to be uh to scare them away so thank you for watching subscribe and share